Smith, he is Johnny Tapp. OK, we're coming into uh, the second graduation at Harold Clark, regarded as a foregone conclusion with uh, Mitchell Victory in the deep purple. A brilliant winner in the recent Superstars three- and four-year-old when he defeated Paleface Adios with Hondo Gratton unplaced. That's right, Ray Warren uh, reminds me that there have been three odds-on favourites beaten so far tonight, including Paleface Adios, who lost his driver. It'll be interesting to see where Newman puts this horse. Mitchell Vickery from the 12 yards. They stand up nicely. Studley Roll is a newcomer to Harold Park by a Walla Walla stallion called Tony Walla. Strands fly back and they're off and racing. Mitchell Victory went out galloping off the 12, but quickly got into his gear. Hopton skipped a little bit early, though. Twin Star a bit slow to move at the start and bouncing clear and going to the lead was Hayeva Lodge from Romany Sun and Dainty Lady stepped away well. Running fourth on the outside of Stella Kelly and then Richie's Princess, well back, Studley Roll, followed at the head of the others by Tartan Meadow. And then Twin Star and Mitchell Victory has now caught up the field and tacks on at the tail and he's starting to pull a bit too. Into the home straight now with three to go at the judge and PJ had Hayed a lot in front, dictates the terms. Percy's been in the vanguard position a few times tonight so far. Hayed a lot, leads by a bit over a length to Romany's son, a length to Richie's princess, one and a quarter studly roll, a length and a half to Tartan Meadow locked away on the inside of Dainty Lady whose driver's going back trying to fist one out. One off the fence following Dainty Lady is Stella Kelly. One out following Stella Kelly is Twin Star. And Mitchell Victory is at the tail of the field. They're going at a fair dinkum jog. And Mitchell Victory racing with his mouth open and well on the steel. Past a mile and a quarter now. And Hayda Lodge leads a length to Romany's son. A length to Richie's Princess. A length away Studley Roll. By gee, you can see what's going to happen here. I reckon Newman might take off when they get into the home straight because they're dead set jogging in front and with the speed Mitchell Victory's got, he should be around these in no time flat. Coming to the turn now, and I think they're racing an Indian file. Yes, they are too. It's the old Comanche scouting party again as they swing into the straight. Hayda Lodge leads by a little over a length on Romany's son. Running third, Richie's Princess, and then Studley Roll, followed by Tartan Meadow, Dainty Lady, Stella Kelly, Twin Star, and Mitchell Victory. Have a look at these coming down the home straight. Fair Dinkum in dead set Indian file. Hayda Lodge, the leader. Newman not making a move as yet. Uh, Hall speeding up a little bit on Hayda Lodge. In fact, he had a good look back then, and I reckon he saw Mitchell Victory at the tail of the field. And this favourite, Fair Dinkum, is the best part of 12 lengths from the leader as they go to the back. Ball speeding up on Hayeda Lodge because that'll make it a bit harder for Newman if he does decide to take off. The favourite still pulling at the tail of the field. Hayeda Lodge leads them down the back. 11 and a half to run from Romany's son. Richie's Princess is third. And then uh, Studley Roll. Here's Newman pulling out now on Mitchell Vickery. He fished one out, Stella Kelly. He got Stella Kelly out and he's going to use him as a battering ram up towards the lead as they come to the turn. It's being run to suit the favourite now. Into the straight, a bit over a half mile to go. Hayda Lodge, a little over a length to Romany's son. Stella Kelly is carting Mitchell Victory right up on the outside now. Mitchell Victory, one out and one back, about three lengths from the leader. In on the fence, Richie's Princess and then Dainty Lady, Studley Roll, Twin Star and Tartan Meadow. Down to the jump now to cop the bell and Hayda Lodge leads a length to Stella Kelly. Romany Sun is locked in, one out, one back is Mitchell. In on the fence, Richie's Princess and then Dainty Lady, Studley Roll, Twin Star and Tartan Meadow. Racing to the back, Mitchell Victory's done it very easy so far. Hayda Lodge leads a length on Stella Kelly. Romany Sun pocketed Newman, biding his time on the long odds on favourite Mitchell Victory. Richie's Princess has pegged in and then Dainty Lady followed by Studley Roll, Twin Star and Tartan Meadow. At the two, still Newman hasn't pulled out. He's easing out now to make his run. He popped one, two on the favourite with the whip. Mitchell Victory unleashing three deep. The leader got a bit of a break. Hayed a lot, but look at Mitchell Victory go. Mitchell Victory has burned up on the outside of Hayed a lot, and they've dashed about five in front of Romany Sun and Stella Kelly. Into the straight now, and Mitchell Victory has gone to the lead from Hayed a lot, which is sticking on pretty well. Newman has the whip on the favourite Mitchell Victory, who's bored in very quickly near the line. He ducked straight into the rail, but he's won easily. Mitchell Victory sprinted away, won by four lengths to Hayed a lot. Romany Sun third. Then Studley Roll, Richie's Princess, Tartan Meadows, Stella Kelly, followed by Twin Star, and last is Dainty Lady. Hmm. Did you see that horse duck into the fence when he cleared the leader? Yeah. Yeah? Winner is number nine, Bill O'Brien's compliments go to Percy Hall, by the way. Mitchell Vickery 
A chestnut gelding by Hondo Hanover out of Sporting Champ is raced by Mr. Les Irwin, trained and driven by Kevin Newman. Was a pretty good drive by PJ, wasn't it, on Hayy the Lodge? My word it was. He did said look right back over his inside shoulder coming down to the bell, or before the bell, uh, yes, at the bell, and he could see that Newman was still last on Mitchell Victory after they'd jogged for a mile, and then he sped up and was going to make it a little bit harder. Uh, for Newman on the odds-on favourites, and as it turned out, Mitchell Victory has beaten Hayeda Lodge about four lengths. Had Hall continued to jog in front, the margin probably would have been greater. Got them the last half in 59, John. Good, thanks, Ken. <laughs> Mitchell Victory first, Hayeda Lodge second, and Romany Sun third. Richie's Princess, the official fourth, Ray Warren, uh, deputising on the clock for Ken Arnold, last half in 59. The only trouble is the old clock Ray's using, uh, I think, can be taken with a grain of salt. It's only got one hand. <laughs> the winner scored by 12 yards with 19 yards between second and third. Uh, the time is 3.42 and two-fifths. A mile rating of approximately 2.12 and a half. A mile rate of 2.12 and a half. No wonder Mitchell Victory won and won easily. 3.42 and two-fifths is about eight seconds outside Alberta Rose's race record. Great horse, the winner.